What up, what up? What's going on, guys? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. What y'all do this weekend? Working on business or family, personal stuff? What you guys got going on? Hope everybody's doing good. Just working in my garage right now. My hot-ass garage. (laughs) It's like 95 degrees in Vegas, so it's a little warm out here today. Just finishing up a Amazon FBA shipment and um, doing a little repricing and uh, just kind of chill, chill, good day. Working on myself, working on the business. Let me give it a second, allow, allow everybody to uh, pop in if anybody pops in or not. Sorry. So. Yeah, had a pretty good weekend. Went to the uh, Vegas Golden Knights game yesterday. Um, and uh, they lost in overtime, which is kind of weak, but uh, it was still a, good, still a good game, still a lot of fun. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. Appreciate y'all hopping in. You guys can uh, go ahead and show some love and hit that like button for me. That would be freaking awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, just hanging out in the warm garage. Just finished up an Amazon shipment and uh, doing a little repricing. New phone. Who dis? What up, Knight? How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing good, brother. Just got done uh, finishing Amazon shipments. Just did uh, two, four, six, eight, ten boxes. Over the weekend, I started it like three days ago, kind of worked like an hour here, an hour there, a couple hours here, a couple hours there. Um, kind of a more chill shipment, but uh, just finishing that up to go out this week. And uh, now I'm doing a little repricing from the garage. Probably go kick it, watch a little Better Call Saul tonight, just kind of relax a little bit, just get ready for the week. So how y'all doing today? Wasn't sure uh, if anybody would be popping in, but uh, yeah, I had my call with my coach this morning. Um, we do like three calls a month now, um, sometimes every other Sunday. Sometimes we'll get a couple Sundays in a row, a few Sundays in a row, take a couple off. Uh, just depends on like our schedule and stuff like that and the things that we're working on. So um, just had a call with my coach today. Um, actually went really good. I actually posted about, did a couple posts about it today, posted a couple stories about it today. Um and uh, one of the challenges, oh, well, not one of the challenges, the challenge we're working on this week is um, he's always kind of pushed me to set long-term goals. And I've just never really been, like, I've tried to set goals in the past and, like, tried to work on goals and do those kinds of things. And I would, I used to write goals down and freaking, I even, like, one time, one year, freaking made a nice fancy poster board with, like, all these little goals and things I wanted to accomplish. And I freaking probably accomplished maybe one or two. I don't even remember what I put on it. So I've just never been a big person to, to like track goals and like keep goals and set goals. And I've always just been more of a short term person. Like, you know, like I kind of like, you know, the way I view success is like, what did I do today to become successful? You know, did I eat healthy? Did I, you know, juice? Did I take my ginger shots? Did I, you know, drink, you know, a hundred ounces of water? Did I take my vitamins? Did I go on a jog? Did I do something in the business? You know, did I did I did I read any books? Did I read my Bible today? Did I, you know, do all those good things? Was I fasting today and stuff like that? Um, and you know, at the end of the day, I look at the the day and I'm like, all right, today was a successful day. And I know if I have more days like that than not, then I'm going to be successful. And that's kind of the way I've always viewed success. Which I guess, I mean, I guess I've done good with it. But he's always challenged me to set goals and like think of think of god i have such a hard time saying the word success i I say i can say it right if i say it slow but he's always challenged me to like you know look at success in the long term you know a year six months five years ten years down the line and i've always kind of like been very stubborn and wanting to do that just because i don't know I'm just stubborn and I just was like, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Like I could set all these goals for 10 years from now and I might not even be here. I could be dead, you know, like nobody really knows. So I've just never been one of those people that are prone to setting long-term goals. I'm just more, if I do enough short-term goals, daily goals, I know in the long-term things are going to work out for me. Um, Success. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Uh, man, appreciate y'all hopping in. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Um, and if you guys could go ahead and show some love and hit that like button, I would appreciate that. But um, actually, you know, let me sit down. My back is killing me. I've been standing up for like four hours working in the garage. So I'm going to chill for a minute. And... Oh, shit ball. So, yeah, so our call, basically our whole call today was just, you know, different things. And, you know, like I've always like I do a lot of sourcing trips and I usually don't plan my sourcing trips like too much. I wing a lot of them. It's like I'll jump in, like I'll hop out of plane, get off the plane, not have a rental car not have a hotel, not have a plan. And like, I've done trips, you know, with my girl and stuff. And like, you know, some of the friends here and there and like, or tell, tell my friends about them. And they're just like, what the heck? That's crazy. And it's like, it like gives them anxiety. Like that gives me an anxiety. Like, how could you not have a plan? It's just like, I don't know. I've always been the one to embrace uncertainty. Like I, I, I shine, I feel, and like, I'm super calm in uncertainty and like the crazy chaotic, sense of things it's like where i'm super calm and i just like i don't know i've always gotten the rise out of just like not planning just hopping in the car and then driving it's like i'll figure it out when i get there you know so our call you know was just like all right you know you need to start setting some long-term goals and i you know i fussed about it and i was like i know i need to be open to this and i need to try and do this and i'm like as much as i, I didn't want to i'm like i, I 1000 percent don't want to set any goals but i was like i'm gonna do it i'm always open to growth I'm always open to trying new things and learning. And so I'm like, I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it at all, but I'm going to do it because I do want to challenge myself. And I know this is something that makes me feel uncomfortable, you know, thinking of the long term, committing to things and like, you know, setting something in the far future that I want to achieve. So I'm like, all right, I'll do it. She's like, all right. And then we set a date. So I think my challenge that he gave me today needs to be done, um, I think, in three weeks, I believe. Um, and basically he gave me five challenges. I wish I had my journal to remember what they were, but, uh, it was like, you know, I want you to work on five long-term situations in your life. Um, one was like, okay, your business, okay. Your relationships and friendships, you know, significant other, um, you know, fun adventure, plan some fun things out that you enjoy. Um, also health lifestyle plan out some goals as far as fitness goes as far as losing some weight gaining some muscle you know getting into jujitsu gosh that's another word like success and jujitsu i can't say very good um so it was just like five different goals i don't remember what all of them were but it was like relationship business fun health and then there was one more i don't remember what it was um, I could share it on my story if I, when I get to my office or whatever, but, uh, he was like, all right, I want you to go through and over the next three weeks, go over these five different areas and write some long-term goals and a really thorough thought out process. Okay. Six months down the line, a year down the line, two years, five years, 10 years. And I want you to plan ahead plan for the future, you know? So I was like, all right, you know, I'm, as much as I don't want to do it, I'm up for the challenge. I'm open to doing it and I'm ready to accept the challenge and, you know, tackle it head on. So that was what we were working on today. And then, um, you know, did my daily thing, juiced a couple of times, did a couple of ginger shots, drank a bunch of lemon water, took my vitamins today. Um, listened to my YouTube audio book, did my audio Bible for a bit, listened to some music for a few hours and then just, uh, pumped out some of my, finished up my Amazon shipment. So just small little successful things that I do in the short term that make me be successful in the long term. So just wrapping up this shipment that I'm going to go ahead and hop, go in the house where the AC is on because it's actually hot or ish in the garage and work on a little bit of Amazon shipment and probably watching Netflix and kind of just be like chilling, but working on Amazon stuff, maybe poly a bunch of plush toys that I got wholesale and just kind of hang out and chillax and hang out with the girl and stuff like that and have a good night and chill. Um, let's see, constantly moving forward, even if you have to fail forward. Amen, brother. Amen. A hundred percent. What you guys got going on today? Anybody have any questions? Anything like that? What y'all working on this week? You guys got any goals? How are you guys doing on goals? Did you guys set goals? Are you guys trying to achieve any goals? Are goals your thing? Are they not your thing? Awesome. Welcome, guys. We got seven people in here. I appreciate y'all. What's up, buddy? How's it going, Garrison, man? How you doing, man? Um, just talking about goal setting right now and uh, how much I have always hated. Not let's say hated. I've always just been a stubborn person and not wanted to set goals. And my challenge for the week that my coach challenged me to is to 
work on some long-term goals. Uh, I shared a little bit of it uh, on my posts this morning on Instagram and on Facebook and a little bit on my stories. Um, so I'm going to be working on some long-term goals over the next few weeks and really dive into that as much as I really just want to put it to the side and not do it. Um, always, you know, important to put yourself in somewhat of com- uncomfortable situations so you can grow and come out a better person, come out, of, come out better on top. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been, you know, that's what I got going on. That's what I'm doing. Um, but, um, yeah, if anybody has any questions or anything like that, um, anything, what do you guys think about goals? What are you guys doing set goals? You guys working on achieving anything? What are your goals for 2023? You know, small goals, big goals, stuff like that. Um, I know at the beginning of the year, like I would say one of my goals, it really wasn't a goal. It's just that, all right, what do I got to do today to lose weight? You know, I wanted to lose some weight, you know, at the beginning of the year, I was around, 200 and I don't know, 33 pounds, somewhere around there. Um, and right now I'm down to about 205, 204, 206. It fluctuates a little bit. Um, and I never really set a goal to do that. I just was like, okay, what can I do today to lose weight? And then so on and do that day by day by day. And then I created some healthy habits, you know, with my, my version of intermittent, intermittent, it's another word, success jujitsu and intermittent fasting. I don't even know if I said that right, but my version of fasting is where I just juice, I drink liquids, uh, no sugar. I mean, maybe a drop from my creamer, from my, my creamer, from my coffee, but you know, strictly water and just, you know, try to eat one to two meals a day. Um, and this year I've lost about 25 to 27 pounds, um, doing that. So now I got to start incorporating, you know, working out, which I hate doing. I do not like working out. Honestly, I don't even like eating healthy. Like if I could sit on the couch every day and eat chicken wings and pizza and watch Netflix, that would be something I would love to do for the rest of my life. But obviously that's not sustainable to having a successful and happy life. I think that would make a lot of people depressed doing that long term. It's fun to do for a couple of days here and there, but any longer, I, I, I personally get depressed, you know, and get sad, you know, not doing things to achieve, you know, becoming a better man, better person, and all that good stuff. So, let's see, Garrison. My goal is to learn how to forgive others. Hmm. That's a tough one, man. You know, and that is a, that that can be a tough one. I know that I used to struggle with that. And it's different depending on what the thing is that that person did. Some things are easier to forgive. Some things are harder to forgive. Um, but I, that, I've i struggled with that in the past too. But, you know, I, I, I well, <laughs> sorry, I'm stuttering like a mother. Um, I started to, you know, I was able to forgive others, you know, when I started to forgive myself and I started to learn to love myself and I really just harvested into the, what I could do to control myself. And it's really just give myself love, you know, which slowly began to build my self-worth, my self-confidence and, you know, realize like in certain situations, maybe I was partly at fault or people did me wrong. You know, maybe it was a mixture of both. Maybe we were both being toxic or whatever the case may be. But when I learned to love myself, I learned to heal. I learned to forgive myself. Then I slowly began to forgive others you know, and it's definitely a journey for sure, you know, and it's something that, you know, we should probably always work on because it's not easy just to be like, okay, I forgive you. You know, it's obviously takes, you know, a lot to do that. So, you know, I think it's super important that we work on ourselves and, you know, that can overflow into, okay, I can forgive people because I love myself. I care about myself and, you know, me harboring resentment over that person is not beneficial to me or my success or my happiness, you know, Cause then it's like, then you, you know, you don't forgive that person. You start to harbor resentment or hatred or anger, or, you know, whatever it may be towards that person. When you think that, you know, that could be normal, but it's like, that's holding you back from growth and, you know, being happy and, you know, building better relationships and friendships and stuff like that and being successful. There we go. Got it. I said successful the right that time. So yes, sir. You thick. Hey, thanks. Thank you. So yeah, man. So that's all I got going on in my world today. Um, Definitely just wanted to pop in, say hello. I know it's a little slower on the weekends when I do live, so I haven't really been going live on YouTube on the weekends just because it's a little slower and it's a holiday weekend, so probably people are out with the family, taking the day off, relaxing and all that good stuff. So, yeah, anybody got any questions, anything like that? Um, As always, I would appreciate some love. If you guys want to go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications so you get notified when I go live or 
post videos on YouTube, which I'm in the process of doing. I have been posting uh, YouTube short. I've been posting one a day. I think today was like day four. I've posted four in a row. So I'm going to be posting at least, you know, one clip every day on YouTube, one every day on Facebook and Instagram, and then, uh, you know, continue to do a few lives a week and then um, start to get into some video content and, you know, maybe go somewhere with the direction of that. Sorry, it's windy outside. I'm like, who's at my garage door? But it's just the wind. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Having a good Sunday. Good good start to the week. You know, I love diving in, you know, my coaching call with my coach on Sundays and, you know, working on that stuff. So that way I can just, you know, have a successful week and have a good week and, you know, start the week off, you know, on the right foot, so to speak, and, you know, move forward and continue to grow and uh, all that stuff. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are your YouTube goals? That's a good question, Garrison. You know what? That actually did not, you know, and I'm going to add that into my long-term thing. My coach gave me five, you know, long-term things. I'm going to put YouTube on there too, because I haven't really thought about that a ton. Um, I know with YouTube, I definitely want to post content regularly, videos, um, I mean, I definitely want to post stuff around what I things I enjoy doing, and hopefully that attracts the type of people that enjoy those things too. I'm still just trying to decide which direction I want to go with YouTube. Um, I mean, I know I've said this a billion times. I, lo- I love doing Amazon. I definitely don't want it to be Amazon focused. Like Amazon could be like the the outer circle of the channel. You know, I thought about maybe doing some sort of like vlogs and stuff when I since I travel so much and like you know obviously the trips are related to Amazon shopping. You know. But I want it to be more on, you know, the personal side, you know, going on an adventure of like trying cool new foods and sharing the places that I'm finding. And like, I like finding hole in the wall burger places and cool pizza spots and places with just like unique, cool vibes and like speakeasies and secret locations and all that good stuff. And kind of like take people on the journey with me. And then, you know, talk about self-development and growth and stuff like that, which I really want to start pushing that. I feel, you know, I feel, you know, I've, I've. gain the most growth, you know, working on myself. And I want to share that with you guys. And then also, you know, share the things that I'm learning too. So maybe that can be beneficial to somebody that's going through something similar or, you know, show like, oh man, I, I read this book and I, it, I learned this, this, and this, I tried this and this, this, and this happened, you know, and I can share with you guys and stuff like that and kind of see where it goes from there. You know, um, Definitely, you know, I'm open to a lot of things. You know, I just kind of want to see how the dots connect to where I want to take the channel. I, um, I definitely want to grow it for sure. Because, you know, like Tony Robbins says, you know, the secret to living is giving. And I definitely want to put more good into the world and create something that can truly help people, inspire people, help people grow. You know, share all the fucked up things I've been through and show the things that I did to learn to grow and become a better human and like share that. So that way I can help inspire other people too, to, you know, maybe help them in their lives too, you know, and then um, continue to grow it that way and just help inspire people, honestly, share the journey um, in business and on YouTube, like how that's going and, you know, sharing, you know, relationships and how I'm building those and all that good stuff, just traveling and seeing the beautiful country and, you know, obviously I'll make some Amazon into that, some sourcing and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of as far as I thought, as far as like with the YouTube goes. Um, but I definitely will start brainstorming some plans and stuff like that on what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got as far as, uh, you know, on the YouTube, you know, plan. Um, Let's see, Neo, you, you sparked my income. Thanks, Jameson. Awesome, Neo. That's that's dope, man. Awesome, man. Uh, you still into reselling? Are you full time, part time? Thank you for popping in, brother. Thank you for showing some love, Garrison. You are excellent in networking. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. That's right, man. That periscope periscope app brought a lot of us together, and it's crazy how like a good portion of the people that hop in the YouTube lives are people from back in the days of Periscope. You know, but. So it's cool. Yeah, it's super awesome. Neo, we should all grow. Hey, amen. Honestly, that, that that that's like, you know, I know like we live in a, like it's so crazy, like the whole motivational, like just thing. Like, you know how like 
you know, years ago, like the Atkins diet became like a fad, you know, it was like super popular. Everybody was doing it. It was boom, boom, boom. And then it went away. And then like juicing became super popular. Like everybody was buying juicers and juicing and then that went away. And then it was like, you know, the keto, you know how like then the keto diet, you know, like you have these like crazy outrage thing. Out, I don't know what the right, crazy, like trends. Yeah, that's the right word. And like, everybody's doing it. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's trying to do that. And it's like, then it's like this whole motivational, like self development thing became super popular over the last like five, six years, four or five years, where it's like everybody's doing motivational stuff. Everybody's writing motivational books and like all this motivational stuff. And it's like, you know, but like, how many people are still doing it? Like the people that were like trying to sell that motivational dream five years ago, how many people are still doing that? Did they move on to the next trend? Are they, you know, still pushing that? Are they still working on that? Like, is I think it's super important to grow. Like, and that's the thing that a lot of us, I feel may, may neglect in some ways. Um, and, you know, it's super important to be, to work on growth. Like, you know, everybody doesn't have to grow at the same pace. That's the thing is like, you could, as long as you're moving like a snail or a turtle, you're going in the right direction. It doesn't matter how slow you go, as long as you're moving in the right direction. Like, I mean, literally, you know, what I, what I learned in the compound effect, you know, it starts with an apple a day. If you know, say you're like, say you're drinking 12 cans of soda a day, you know, which obviously is probably not healthy. Well, not probably, it's not healthy in the long term. That could probably give some, you know, mental issues, some health issues, some diabetes, whatever that may cause, you know, going on with you. But it's like, okay, I want to stop drinking soda. It's like, if you stop and cut it off cold turkey, you'll probably, you know, suffer a lot. And then you'll get, maybe you'll stop for a bit, but then it's like, I feel more times than not, we go back to it even harder than we were before. Same thing with like working out. People will do this extreme thing. It's like, oh, I want to start working out. And then it's like, boom, they go and get the gym membership. Boom. They go spend hundreds of dollars on new shoes, new clothes, new supplements, protein powders, you know, you know, gym memberships, you know, trainers and all this. And they go hard two hours a day. Boom, 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 boom for like a month. And then they give up. And then it's like, oh, they lost all the weight. They're not going to the gym anymore. They're wasting money because they're in a contract with the gym. And then with the fitness trainer, they're in a contract. So they're losing all this money. They're not in it. And it's like. I think, you know, growth and, you know, all that fitness, everything should be something sustainable, something that you could do almost every day or every day for the rest of your life. You know, like instead of going to the gym hard two hours a day, 30 days or 90 days or a hundred days, whatever. It's like, why don't you work out for 15, 20 minutes, five days a week for the rest of your life? You know, I like obviously 15 minutes working out today isn't going to do much to change your body, but doing that over a lifetime you will be healthier. I'm sure you'll be a lot more happier mentally, physically. You'll probably lose a little weight, you know, or maintain weight. And it's like, you know, why don't we work on things to be, you know, successful and fit and happy in the long term? Because it goes back to the, the soda thing. You're drinking 12 cans of soda a day. Don't quit cold turkey. Why don't you? Okay, so today I'm going to drink 11 cans of soda instead of 12. And then I'm going to replace that one can of soda with a bottle of water. And then oh, shortly over, you know, a few months or a couple of weeks, you eventually get down to like one or two cans of soda and then a ton more water, which is more beneficial for your body. You're going to be healthier. You're going to be flushing out toxins and all the bad stuff in your body. And then boom, you're automatically healthier. You're going to be losing. I guarantee if you're drinking 12 cans of soda a day, you're going to lose a crap ton of weight, you know, doing it. So it's like the compound effect. You slowly build up over a year or six months, two months, whatever the timeline may be. Same thing with like, okay, I want to run a marathon. Obviously you couldn't, if you've never run in your life, you can't go tomorrow and run a marathon. Okay. It starts with a walk around the block. Do that every day for a week. Okay. Then two, the next thing you know, it's like, okay, I'm walking half a mile. Then I'm walking a mile. You know what? I'm going to jog today. Why don't I jog a mile? And then you slowly build up over six months, a year. And it's boom. Next thing you know, you're running a marathon, you know? So like, to me, that's the way I look at success and then also same thing with health and fitness and stuff like that is like do small little things that you can do sustain that can be sustainable over your lifetime you know that move you in the right forward same thing with you know like working on ourselves like you we don't have to go at the same pace as long as you're trying you're moving forward like you're winning you know in my opinion um Let's see, back to this. Ooh, we scroll up a little bit. Okay, let's see here. We're missing. I'm full-time. Periscope days woke me up. Hey, awesome, man. Good for you, Neo. Where are you from, brother? Mentality is everything. Reality is so crazy. It may alter to everybody based on their thoughts. Yeah, true that, man. It definitely really is, man. Yeah, and it, it's hard, you know. Like, you know, early on when I got into the whole self-development, growth, you know, all that stuff, like I, I was really into like the motivational speakers, which got me going 
but they didn't keep me going. And for years I would watch all this motivational stuff or like motivate me for a day or two days. And then I would lose the motivation. And I'm like, okay, I need more motivation. I need more motivation. And where am I going to get my, I need my motivation fix. Okay, let me watch some Gary Vee. Oh, Tony Robbins, let's watch my Eric Thomas, Les Brown. You know, Eric Thomas gets me pumped up with his freaking, you know, when you, you know, when you, the thing where he's like holding the guy underwater and he's like, if you want success as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Like, okay, I need to get motivated. And it's like all these motivational videos and people would like get me going, but they wouldn't keep me going. And it was like, you know, as I learned over the years, it's like motivation will get you started but discipline will keep you going. Like I get up every day and I juice, I drink a crap ton of water. You know, I fast. I don't want to do it. There's, there's, there's a maybe one or two days a week. I may enjoy doing it. The rest of the days, I don't want to do it. I want to eat chicken wings. You know, I want to drink a cup of ranch, <laughs> you know, like I don't want to do these things, but I know that to be happy mentally, to, to grow in other aspects of my life, I need to work on, you know, the, the, being healthy and, you know, being, you know, dieting and just eating good and get feeding my body the good things so I can live a long lasting, healthy life, have a good mental health. You know, I've, you know, I, I think, you know, like the crappy foods that we put in our body, the processed stuff, the junk, the sugars and all that stuff can really affect our mental health. You know, I think it, you know, can spark or like it can increase depression and other mental illnesses that we can suffer from. It's like the crap we're feeding our body can enhance those things like to the T you know, just like really bad. So it's like, you know, working on these things, you know, short term things like this and boom, 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 what you can do. And then to, you know, be sustainable, not have, you know, like where you have these ups and downs of motivation and depression or motivation and not feeling it's like kind of like work. So you kind of get that balance in your life. And that's, you know, where I, it took me years to realize that is like, you know, motivation gets you started. Discipline keeps you going, you know. I don't want to work today. I don't want to do an Amazon shipment. I do it because I want to be successful in all areas of my life. You know, so I drink a lot of water. I fast. I take my vitamins. I juice. You know, I work some of my business. I work, I listen to podcasts. I listen to audiobooks. I listen to my Bible. You know, I read my Bible. You know, I talk to my friends. I build relationships with my friends. I, I put, you know, I share my journey on Facebook and Instagram, doing, you know, doing YouTube lives. I do all these little tiny things every day so that way that's success to me, you know? So I do these things. Sometimes I don't want to, but I do them because I know that's, I, I, it's important to work on a little bit every day in all areas of my life as best as I can. I'm still learning. I still make mistakes. There's probably areas in my life that I suck at, you know, doing what I need to do, but I'm always, you know, open to it and trying to, you know, hold myself accountable so that way I can continue to grow. Um, Dan Garrison, man, that's amazing, man. I was at 240 pounds down 174. That's great, man. Uh, Garrison, what are what are some things that you did to lose the weight? Um, did you incorporate just eating healthy, dieting, working out? Um, what worked for you, my friend? FBA Gabe, speaking facts. Hey, how's it going, Gabe, man? Hope you're doing good, brother. Jameson, you are a legend. I look up to you. Let's do lunch sometime. Awesome, man. Hey, where are you from again, Neil? I don't remember if I asked you. And if I did, I definitely forgot. Um, and also, too, I don't know if we're Facebook friends or connect on Instagram since I only know what your YouTube name is. I don't know what your real name is. So yeah, brother, hit me up on Instagram. I don't know. We honestly, may, we may even talk on Instagram or Facebook just because I don't, I only know your YouTube name, but uh, yeah, brother, hit me up, man. Let's chat. Definitely. Let's see what we got here. What's your favorite type of exercise, brother? Ooh, good question, man. Ah, oh, man, it's favorite type of exercise. Good question. Um, Honestly, I mean, like, I know the importance of working out. Like, they're so important. And I love the benefits I get from working out. I, I can't say that I enjoy it, though. You know, like, I've just never been one of those people that liked working out. Like, I, I still do it, you know, and I know the importance of it. But it's like, I, I, I struggle, but I know it's a discipline thing. You got to keep doing it. It's important. You want to be healthy. You want to be strong. You know, I'm getting older. I'm going to be 41 years old this year, you know. And by any means, I'm not like, I mean, I'm, I don't work out as much as I should. I definitely slack a lot in that area, but I, I, I'm very, very healthy for my age. I feel good for my age. You know, I feel amazing. I've got a ton of energy. I've got an I've got energy, like a 16 year old. Um, and so like, you know, in it, you know, putting things in perspective for me too, is like when I see friends that I went to high school with, or if I see people that are my age that are just like, 
you can just tell that life has just hit them hard and they haven't taken good care of themselves. Like when you look, I don't know if you guys have seen this meme on Facebook where it was like a 40 year old guy that was like super fit, you know, ripped six pack, he had his shirt off next to a 40 year old guy. I think he had like a beer in his hand or something and a super big gut. And it was like, both of these men are 40 and you could tell like which one was taking care of themselves, which one was happy, or you could just see it in their face. You could see spark for life, happiness. So it's like, dang, I don't want to be that other guy. That's not healthy. So like I do the, you know, I, I, I always open to doing the, the important things like fitness. Honestly, you know what? I'd say my favorite exercises now that it popped up is I love in Vegas when it's 120 degrees out, hundred degrees out. And now I drink a ton of water. And I don't ever push myself to where I'm dying is I love running with my shirt off, going to do like a two mile jog, not, not like full on sprint, like a two mile jog in like the hundred, 110 degree weather in Las Vegas in the summertime. Like, I love that. And like, I'll do it in the morning too. Cause like I'll get up at like seven, eight in the morning and it'll sometimes be over a hundred degrees already. And I'd say that's my favorite because it's very challenging to do, but yeah, like it, it's, it, it takes some training to get up to because like you got to stay super hydrated because it's super easy to freaking croak in the dang sun like that you know obviously i wear you know all the protection and all that stuff i put a thing on my head suntan lotion keep myself safe and all that good stuff but i'd say that's my favorite because it's just an absolute challenge and i just sweat my ass off doing it and like when i'm done i'm like oh like i'm dead but it feels so good so i would say that's my favorite exercise awesome um man i appreciate you guys let me take a quick screenshot real quick, quick picture All right, cool. All right, let's see here. What are your favorite types of exercises? Boom, got it. You're smart, though. You did it. I watch you and learn. Awesome, Neil. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I said, it's sad knowing your entire reality we are fed is negative. I think we are growing outside of that. Yeah, exactly. And that's that, That's one of the things why I was like, I mean, I, I if I ever post anything negative online, like I try to like post it as like a lesson. Like I did this or this something bad happened. Here's what I did to learn from it. So I always try to put a positive twist on it because I would say like, you know, there are a lot, like honestly, like I don't, I don't want to like, you know, just, I don't want to get too deep into it, but just for my mental health, like I would say back, you know, back in 2019, I had just left the Tony, a Tony Robbins event in Miami and I was 200 pounds. I was feeling good. I was fit. I exercised a lot. Came back flying high, feeling good. I was 200 pounds, just freaking, just feeling amazing. And then that was the end of 2019. And then 2020, you know, the pandemic and stuff hit. And I honestly fell into a lot of negativity. I was just watching a lot of Facebook videos and posts and reading different articles and just like, you know, watching lives and all this stuff, the crazy stuff that was going on. I honestly fell into a horrible depression. Because I was feeding, like, and it was so stupid. I knew I shouldn't have been doing it. I shouldn't have been feeding myself. I was, like, watching lives of people on the street, reading the comments, and everyone arguing, and all this hatred, hate-filled comments and stuff towards each other, and just all the stuff, all the stuff of the world, and, you know, all the things happening. And I just, like, glued to it, like a freaking like, super glue. And I got so depressed. And, like, we went into the, the lockdown thing. And I remember there was a stretch when the lockdown started, I didn't leave my house besides literally going out the back door to put a trash in the back, uh, trash in the trash can, which was touching the house. It was just outside. But just besides that and getting the mail, I didn't leave my house for like 93 days. And all I did was eat. I drank wine almost every day. I was smoking cigars and just drinking wine, ordering Uber Eats two, three, four times a day maybe not four times a day, but like two, three times some days and watching these videos for hours on end. And I went on this freaking just downward spiral of depression and just, I focused, I, I glued to all the negative things going on in the world and I allowed it to affect me. And then I got to the point where I was arguing with people online, just, just arguing with people, just being defensive and combative and being a jerk. And I'm just like, I actually went, this is the first time I've ever done this. I actually deleted Facebook and Instagram and deactivated my account for seven days and like went on a little cleanse of, all right, I can't do this anymore. I'm focusing on the negative. And then I came back from it and I was like, all right, like something's got to change. I got to stop focusing on the crappy parts. This is not me. You know, I'm not this stuff. There's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of bad things happening in the world. I can't control it. I can only control what's going on in my world, give myself love, you know, take care of my body. And then I can pour that out, you know, into the world, you know, Facebook and Instagram and share, 
you know, positive loving things. And, you know, after that happened, I was kind of like, okay, like, I'm not going to post this crap anymore. Like I, I, I fell into, I even started posting bad things, like stupid things, not bad things, just negative things. And I posted things that would rattle people's cages. Like it would get spark arguments and just like, you know, argumentative comments and like, you know, things like that. And, you know, I was pushing people's buttons because I was just angry at myself. I was just depressed. And I was like, but this is not me. What is wrong with me? Like, why am I being a jerk? Why am I like purposely pushing people's buttons? Why am I trying to like be mean to people that disagree with me? And I'm like, okay, I can't do this anymore. All right. I got it. And during the pandemic, I uh, I went from like the 200 pounds right after the Tony Robbins events. Um, I think I even have an Instagram post where I was like, this is the lowest weight I've ever been in. I've been in, in like, I don't know, it was like 10 years or something like that. And then during the pandemic, like for that, like, you know, six months to a year or whatever, how long that whole thing lasted, like the, just the more depression apart from me, like I gained like 40 pounds. Like it was just insane. I stopped working out. You know, I wasn't really, I was juicing a little bit, but not a ton. Um, wasn't drinking a ton of water, wasn't working out. I was sitting on the couch every day, just being lazy. And I gained like 40 pounds and like that 40 pounds like fluctuated, but it stayed with me up until this year. Like the weight stayed with me up until 2023. Like I've tried different things to lose weight and I would go down five pounds and go back up 10 and go back in. And now it's like, I'm down to about 205 now. And this is the lowest I've weighed, you know, since before the pandemic. And, but like, you know, I'm thankful I went through that little bout of depression and anger and just all the stuff around the world, just, you know, being upset and hurt. And just, there was like all these different emotions, but that made me realize like, okay, this is not what I'm here to do. This is not what I'm here to put on line. You know, I don't want this to be remembered by like, I'm, you know, I, you know, like Tony Robbins says, I'll, I'll always say this, the secret to living is giving. So I made it a mission to like, okay, I'm only going to share positive, fun, loving stuff. If I post anything negative, it's going to be, okay, this is something negative I did or bad thing that happened, but I'm going to put a positive twist on it. This is what I did to learn and grow from this. Okay. And now I'm a better, happier person for it. So, you know, we all go through different trials and tribulations and ups and downs in life. And, but the most important thing is that you come out of it and grow and you, you heal, you grow, and then you become a better and stronger person for it. All right, let's get back to this thing here. Um, oh, Mankato, Minnesota, that's what's up. Okay, I think you might, now that you said that, I think you rem I remember you saying that last time, um, I believe. All right, let's see here. Walk 20 minutes every morning, five times a week, drink less sugar. Bro, Garrison, that's phenomenal. See, brother, right there. And that goes back to the compound effect. It starts with a walk a day. It starts with a walk around the block. It starts with an apple a day. Like it's like small little things that compound over time. That's freaking amazing, bro. I need to incorporate more walking and jogging. I actually did go jog, I'd say in the last week twice out in, you know, I did a two mile jog two times in the last week. So that's the most I've done in a while. So I definitely want to incorporate more jogging and lifting. Um, once I get my weights, they're behind my pallets. I got to get them out and get back into working out. But when I start working out, I'm literally probably just going to do 15 minutes. Just do do one, you know, do one muscle group, 15 minutes and do that every day or something like that. And honestly, I might even start at 10 minutes. Obviously, you can't get much done in 10 minutes, but it's to build the habit of doing it, building that momentum and do that for a couple of weeks and then get into 15. And then, you know, over a couple of months, it's like, okay, now I'm doing 20 minutes. and I'm actually getting some good benefits from this and I'll continue to do this. So um, start off slow and let it compound up. Culver's is good for the soul. Hey man, I honestly, this could be, you know, I don't care. This is my opinion. Culver's is the best fast food place in the U S that's, that's what I think. What do, what do you guys think? Where's your guys' favorite, favorite fast food place? If you guys eat fast food, um, I don't try to make a habit of like eating fast food. I do enjoy eating crappy food. I love it. It tastes amazing. But one thing that I've learned too, with doing my fasting a lot this year is that I've been able to like, I would go 20 hours and not eat a meal, but I would juice and get all my vitamins and, you know, stuff from juicing. So I'd get good stuff to my body. Then I would eat like a fast food meal some days. So like then I, I don't feel guilty for doing that because I still feel amazing mentally from the fast and continuing to do that. So, um, we go into BJJ class next time in Las Vegas. What is that? 
Oh, oh, yes, dude, bro, let's do it. Definitely, bro. Yeah, when you're in Vegas, man, definitely. I just realized, okay, FBA, sorry, I, I forgot your I forgot your uh, Amazon account name, Gabe. Um, so I was like, I didn't realize that was you for a second. <laughs> yes, dude, most definitely, brother, we have to. Um, definitely. Algorithm is crazy. Should have been buying puzzles. Bro, honestly, I did start buying puzzles towards the end. Um, I did okay. I didn't do amazing. That's definitely for sure. Let's see. Algorithm is crazy. People should have to answer for that. They destroy people's lives. Mm. Understand how blah, 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 happy, happy music people are so weird. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Garage Jameson. What's up, Jerry, my brother? How's it going, man? How's that Miami life? How's that Kmart going for you? Anyways, let's get positive. Hey, yes, sir, Neo. Let's have a good night. Always, brother. That's right. It's always about growth, focusing on the good, you know, no, no matter what bad shit happens in the world, you know. And this, honestly, this is one thing, one of the, the biggest takeaways from the book, The Compound Effect. He had, and this is just his perspective, and it's just like that could benefit you in your own life. It's like you can rid yourself of all the wars, all the disease, all the evil, all the bad things in the world if you just turn off the news. And, like, obviously, you can't get rid of that stuff by turning off the news. But, like, you can control the things that you see that are, you know, not beneficial. Like, you can do good in your own circle of the world and put out good and do positive things, which, you know, is amazing. But, like, after reading that in, in The Compound Effect – sorry, not reading, listening. It was audiobook. Um, I actually stopped watching the news, you know, after that. Um, the only news that I got was, like – people's clips they'd post on Facebook during the pandemic, which I was guilty of watching, which I shouldn't have because it just fed into the negativity and made me depressed and not feeling good. So, um, but after that, I, I don't watch the news, you know, and I actually, I don't even buy cable anymore. I don't have cable. I have TVs in my house and I just have Hulu and Netflix and Amazon prime. And honestly, I, for like, I, re I don't watch a ton of new movies. Like I literally probably watch the same hundred movies over and over and over again. Like comedy movies, you know, some suspense movies, you know, romantic comedy movies. Like I literally watch the same movies over and over and over again. Um, yes, sir. Culver's burgers are the best. Hey, Culver's burgers really are the best, man. Honestly, I, I will, I will die on that grave. Culver's is the best fast food in the country for sure. Culver's or In-N-Out? Oh, Culver's for sure. Culver's for sure. Um, now, the funny thing is that In-N-Out used to be my favorite fast food before I moved to Vegas. And I think it was just the allure of it being in Vegas, being on the East Coast, or sorry, being on the West Coast. I would come here like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to go get In-N-Out Burger. And In-N-Out, don't get me wrong, In-N-Out is great. In-N-Out Burgers are phenomenal. I don't like their fries that much. Like In-N-Out fries are good when they're fresh. But like after like 10 minutes, their fries just lose... You know, to me, I still love McDonald's fries the best, but I think McDonald's probably puts the best poisons in their fries, which makes them taste so good. And that's probably why I love them because they have the best poisons for us. <laughs> uh, definitely. Let's see here. All right. Garrison, I remember I left Facebook for three months. I would get angry and spend time reading other comments of hatred. Dude, yes, Garrison, I would do. I would literally like a friend would post something stupid on Facebook, whatever. And there would be like 300 comments. And I would spend like two hours reading every single comment of people arguing back and forth. And it was like, for what? It served zero purpose. All it did was just fill my head with garbage. And our brain, our heads are not filing cabinets. You know, it's important to why I like to journal. Why journaling is important is because you need to get all that stupid crap out of your head. All the stuff that doesn't serve you. All the negative BS crap. Get it out. Write it down. Get it all out. Whatever it is, get it out of your head. Your brain is not a filing cabinet. Your head is not a filing cabinet. Um, Brian Gonzalez. I haven't watched the news in two years, and I feel so much better. Hey, brother, that's amazing, man. Yeah, it, I, I honestly feel better too when I don't when I don't you know watch that stuff. Definitely, you know, just focus on healthy you know friendships, relationships. Even like you might you know a lot of I have so many friends like online, Facebook, and Instagram that I've never met or maybe only met once, and it's like. Focus on the people that you love, the people that love you and, you know, everybody, you know, growing and hopefully you're growing and working on yourselves and doing good things in your life, things that are important to you, you know, if you're doing the things that you enjoy in your life. I mean, that's amazing. I love to see people win. Um, let's see, Jonathan Cleeter, any business books you have been listening to? Um, uh, I bought a bunch of business books. Or a bunch. Of, I bought like fifteen or eighteen uh, Audible books. I haven't got to them all yet. Um, I've honestly been really focusing on the YouTube formula. 
um, I can't check on my phone right now since I'm using it for the live, but I can't, who wrote it. But um, I mean, basically it just teaches you about the YouTube alg algorithm and like the importance of like finding your audience before you start your channel, you know, like in all these other different things and cool things. So it's, it's a really good book. Um, I don't understand the whole like YouTube algorithm thing and how that works. It's very complex and my brain does not understand that stuff. So I definitely, it's a book I need to listen to twice just so I can try to comprehend what that stuff means. But um, they just talk about different, you know, things and like how to focus your channel and like how to like make videos that you make videos on like, say like, you know, I don't know, this is just right here. Say like, okay, I'm going to make a video on the scanner, you know, and then you got a video on the scanner. But like people who want to watch a video on the scanner maybe want to watch like, I don't know. I mean, this is a stupid, I mean, that's a horrible analogy. But the analogy they gave in the book was, okay, you want to make, a YouTube channel and you want to do um, videos about grilling, you know, grilling, you know, steaks and stuff on the grill. So you have a video about, okay, this is how you clean the grill. Okay. But generally people who want to watch a video on how you clean a grill may also want to watch a video on how you season a steak, you know, how you cook a steak, you know, what type of meat cuts to get, where to buy the meat, where is the best places to get the meat. And then, you know, on that, like what type of sides, you know, what type of drinks go with it? You know, maybe if you're a wine person, what type of wine, you know, like you can go to different avenues and different videos for your channel that surround like your channels about grilling, you know, but you can kind of like do a little, I don't know, family tree, I guess, in different directions, but like it could be surrounding that subject. Um, yeah, that's scatter. <laughs> uh, thing was stupid so um but yeah per periscope was fun yes it really was man definitely was they recooked their fries oh oh yeah that that makes yeah okay yeah definitely definitely where's your guys's favorite fast food fry place if you guys do eat fast food even though we shouldn't be eating it i enjoy it in moderation definitely um you should have called your cool friend clear instead <laughs> most definitely my brother I tried journal, but it became basically a food log. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Love each other and get healthy. That's it. Amen, brother. And also love yourself, too, on top of that. Community love feels better than anything. It really does, man. Like, honestly, like, dude, I have, like, I mean, I have tons of friends on here. You know, Instagram, Facebook, and now here that, like, I've never even met. But it's, like, I still enjoy chatting with them and talking to them. And, like, even if it's for a few minutes, we share a couple words back and forth. It's, like, cool. You know? Like, I still like to talk to you guys. It feels good. It feels great to see how you guys are doing. I like to see what you guys are working on. And, you know, it's amazing. I love it. Garrison, how to build self-discipline is the audible I'm listening to now. Every day for 20 minutes. Book is great. Short and straight to the point. Awesome, man. Very cool. I'm going to actually screenshot that. Actually, I'm going to smile while I do it too, just in case I use this for a picture later. So I can remember that because that'll be probably something that can be beneficial to me to check out in the future. Awesome, man. Uh, anybody have any questions? Uh, Goal-related, self-development-related, Amazon-related, reselling-related, food-related. Can even teach you about grills. No, I'm just playing. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> awesome, man. Sweet, man. And also, too, if you guys haven't already, I'd appreciate you if you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post stuff on YouTube. I definitely want to keep growing this. I definitely want to like make this a fun, you know, safe, like just awesome, you know, environment channel and just, you know, talk about growth. I talk about Amazon and just, you know, I want to put more love out into the world, you know. Really like that's definitely one of my goals this year is just to, you know, put more good into the world than bad, you know. Uh, Brian Gonzalez, when I started reselling, one of the first videos I watched was you and Rake, and this was, dang, 2016. That's crazy, man. Awesome, man. Very cool. I say it again. You sparked me to be self-employed the past four years. Oh, bro, that's amazing, brother. Awesome, man. That's super cool, brother. I'm just, I'm just grabbing more pictures so I can use them for, for posts later on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. Awesome. That's so cool, Neo. Garrison, I went two weeks without sugar, went crazy on sugar today, and had a sugar crash. Oof, man. Ouch. Clear. It's five nights at Freddy on the decline. Yeah, brother. I think that ship has sailed, man. I've got about 500 plus five nights at Freddy toys, action figures, plushes. That either suck or the Amazon listings got taken down. 
Um, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy is not something I want to do long-term holds on again. It's something I really don't want to sell unless I can come across some really rare stuff and I wouldn't go too deep on it. Um, I bet I got burned too many times. Five Nights at Freddy is just not, you know, where it's at anymore. That's for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions or anything like that? Oof. Ooh, dang, this live one was actually a lot longer than I planned on going, but that's dope though. Awesome, we got eight people in here, sweet. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't already, appreciate you hit that like button for me. Much love, guys. Jerry, I got hundreds of Five Nights at Freddy Plus sitting. Funko overproduced. Yeah, bro, Funko is just bleh. Um, I'm assuming the Foxy Pirate, Jerry. Books have spoiled me. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. oh, wait, you're transitioning from books to OA. How do you manage paying yourself and spending per day? It's hard for me to do OA because I'm using, I'm used to high ROIs. Yeah, that's tough. Honestly, hey, that's funny, uh, Brian. I actually, I spoke at the Miami uh, Seller Conference earlier this year. And actually, Seller Scout IQ, but I met this guy, my buddy Johnny, uh, Johnny Flips on Instagram. Um, I met him. He's a bookseller. And he was trying to transition into OA. And um, when I was in Detroit uh, a couple months ago, I actually you know, called him up because I knew I was in his area. We met up. We met up at a Barnes & Noble. And we just kind of walked around Barnes & Noble for like 45 minutes just talking about reselling. I kind of showed him what I look for when I go into Barnes & Noble, what I'm doing and stuff like that. And he, he, he was a similar situation as yours, Brian. He was like, I've been books. I'm spoiled with books because like the ROI, it's like you're buying a book for, I don't know, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. And then you're making 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 or whatever, you know, maybe it's just like insane going that in that direction, you know? So it was like, but he's like, I want to do OA, RA, wholesale, I don't know what to do. And I told, you know, this is, which I'll, I'll, I'll tell, I'm telling you too, is don't give up books. Like stick with what's working because obviously it's a low barrier to entry to buy this inventory. And if it doesn't work out, it's like you can get rid of it because, like, what do you lose a couple of bucks, you know, on one piece of inventory? Um, you know, continue to do that, but slowly correlate into something different that you want to do. Like his is OA and RA. And I said, don't spread yourself too thin. Like, you don't have to be jumping into, like, OA, RA, wholesale, private label, books, you know, doing all these, like, 50 different things at once. Like, you know, focus on one or two. Why don't you just do a little bit of RA, you know, to start? Um, and I kind of, like, hung out with him and kind of showed him what I look for. And like we got to the Bakugan to toys. I'm like, all right, this is the packaging that's older. And this stuff generally can have some more value to it than this newer stuff here, which is probably not worth selling. And I told them what to look for, the packaging, look for the diamonds, the rares and stuff like that. And I found, you know, uh, like a $7 Bakugan toy that sold for like nearly $40. And, you know, and I was, I gave it to him because I wanted to like, I was like, here, you know, we actually went up to pay. I went up to pay. He's like, you know, here, I was like, here, but you take this. He's like, oh, are you really, man? You have to, like, and I said, no, yeah, because I, and I gave that item to him because I wanted to spark him to get that motivation to do RA and continue to do books. You know, stick with what's working. The books are good. You got the good ROI. Use that money that you're building from books and then pour that into the OA or the RA. And, um, you know, spend what you can. Like, obviously, you're early on and you're, in, in your, you know, if you're doing the RA, OA thing, you're early on in stages. So, I, I mean... Again, I'm not very really good for goals. I suck at setting goals. That's one of my things I'm working on. I probably wouldn't set a, a goal to spend. Just don't force it because, like, if you say, like, okay, I want to spend a thousand dollars today. What if you spent five hundred on good stuff? But it's like I still have this goal to hit a thousand and, and spend. What if you lower your criteria and you buy potentially bad stuff just to hit that goal and you don't make money on it? Wouldn't it have been better just to spend the five hundred? So don't put too much pressure on you know what you're going to spend in the beginning. Just Focus on finding profitable products, you know, um, do the research. Obviously, it's a little bit harder in the beginning, especially I don't know if you're using tactical arbitrage or seller ramp or any of the other softwares, and, you know, things like that to help you find products. If you're just manually doing it, just don't put no pressure on. Don't force yourself. Continue to do what's working. Keep crushing the books. Work hard on the books. Make that money on the books. And then you slowly bring that over. Um, and now, you know, my friend Johnny, I was just telling you about, you know, he's been at it. He's, he's hitting me up when he's like, you know, finding stuff in stores and like, oh man, is this good? What do you think of this? I found these Funko Pops. What do you think of this? I was like, yes, I'd probably get a few of those, but you know, make sure when you do Funko, you know, you're selling Funko, these $20 Funkos at 50 bucks, make sure I would probably go and buy some boxes for them or protectors. You don't want to just slot the label and send them in. They're probably going to get damaged. And, you know, I would push towards putting them in a box because a lot of times Amazon will just throw them in a poly bag and then boom, you know, they get stepped on or whatever happens to run over by train and they get to the customer damage. So, 
you know, he's been hitting me up. He's been hitting the stores a little more. He's doing better. One of the most important things is he's gaining confidence in doing RA. And he's starting to get, get fine good buys because, like, he would send me stuff like, oh, what do you think of this? I'm like, okay, no, I wouldn't buy this. Yes, this is good. And now he, like, sent me a couple things today that he found. And he's like, oh, what do you think of this keeper graph? And, like, I was like, okay, this is what I think, blah, blah, blah. I've sold this in the past. I've never had any issues. And then he found some products and he did good on them. And he's gaining that confidence. So it's like I would just get the swing of things, that compound effect. Go out there. If it's RA, start scanning stuff. Um, you know, find a couple things. Obviously, it's going to be a little tougher in the beginning. You got that learning curve to figure out what's good and stuff like that. And then just kind of allow things to grow and happen naturally. And things will work out, you know, the way you should. You you put the the energy you said you, you said you put the the energy that you do into books. You put that into RA. Like you're going to be successful. You're going to do good at it. You're going to do great. Let's see books. Let's see. Heard Cleeter that that Cleeter guy doesn't even sell Lego anymore. Ha! <laughs> Much love, Jameson. You too, Neil. You too. There's a new Five Nights of Fruit. Is it really Cleeter? Honestly, man, I've been so sour of Five Nights at toys and just figures. I don't even pay attention to that anymore. I didn't even know that if that's true. If they were ever, if that's cool, cool. Maybe we'll be able to break even on some stuff. Security Breach Plus is paid too much, and same with some other modern Funko items. Way too much waiting price to go up. Yeah, damn, it's crazy, brother. I'd pay you $200 for a day of knowledge. Hey, I appreciate that, Neo. Definitely, brother. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. What up, Brandon P? How's it going, man? Hope you're doing good, brother. Enjoy that Texas weather, man. Brian Gonzalez. I'm using Celeramp and dabbling in eBay to Amazon for OA. Don't really know how to start RA. Okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't put too much pressure definitely on yourself to like, you know, like I would maybe just dabble in the the uh, eBay to Amazon or whatever for a little bit. You know, just kind of get your feet wet. And obviously, you know, with books, obviously, I don't know if you, I'm sure you've probably dealt with a couple of claims here or there. You know, obviously, I'm assuming like the book, when you sell books, like you generally wouldn't have like a safe invoice. Um so just, you know, be careful, mindful of that when doing the eBay to Amazon flips. Uh, one, depending on what type of stuff you're selling, if it's used electronics, be careful on the brands. You know, try to avoid the things that are going to be riskier. Um, and, you know, because I, I mean, I used to do that stuff too back in the day when I, when I, when I was new and I would do the thrift stores and the garage sales. And then, you know, it took years of building up enough cash to get into other things. And then slowly I got into the whole OARA wholesale. So now... Everything I buy is, you know, safe. I've got legitimate invoices and stuff like that to protect myself if I have any issues with brands or, you know, customer complaints and stuff like that. So, you know, definitely try to bring yourself in that direction to get to that way. So that way you're fully safe one day and you don't have to, you know, have any bad things happen to, you know, for, with complaints or when brands get mad at you or something for selling their stuff. So just be careful doing that, man. But definitely wish you nothing but the best of luck, man. I hope you crush it. Thanks for the advice. Oh, of course, my brother. Of course, my brother. Anytime, man. Anytime. New sellers aren't sellers. You either are a seller or not. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely, man. Awesome, man. I appreciate the love, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, we got eight people in here. I would appreciate, man. If you guys could show your boy some love and hit that like button. Help me uh, get some love going on the channel. Try to get some momentum going here. Try to, you know, want to share with share this with many people as possible. Share the journey. And all that stuff and help inspire other people and help other people, you know, in any way that I can, definitely. So show some love, show some likes, comment, interact, you know, help me get this channel rolling. I would uh, super, super appreciate that. Be forever grateful for y'all guys. Brandon P., when's the course coming? Hey, no course, brother, no course. I don't have any desire to put out a course. Um, yeah, not my style. I don't know. I don't feel I would put out a good one anyways, but it's just not my thing. I'm not a good teacher, I don't think. Like, I can do my Amazon stuff. I know how to do it. It's like, I don't know how to tell people how to do it. Like, I've never been good, you know, at that. So, yes. Awesome, man. We've been live for almost an hour. Sweet. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Got my lemon water. Got my filter. I, I drink usually five to eight of these a day. Fill it up with filtered water. I have a, a Berkey water filter that I bought uh, about a year and a half ago. Um... It takes about six hours to filter three ga gallons of water, um, and it goes through two big fil regular filters that gets rid of all the crap or a lot of the crap, and then two fluoride filters, too, so it goes through four filters to clear out all the crap, and then I squeeze an organic lemon in my water, um, and I drink. I don't put lemon in every one, but I probably put lemon in like two of them a day, but I drink like five to eight of these a day. Oh my gosh. I love water so much, man. Oh, 
Amazing. You dropping knowledge here in my garage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brandon, hope you're doing good, man. You opened me up to a new reality. Left a big company, pay my bills recently. Bro, that's amazing, man. That's super cool, man. I'm super happy for you, man. That's amazing. That's, that's phenomenal, man. That's freaking great. That's what's up. Definitely, Jerry. If you can't do it, you teach. Jameson too busy doing the big money moves. Hey, honestly, I probably, <laughs> I probably, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to even make a course, but I mean, I see some people make more money selling courses than they do on Amazon. So, <laughs> you know, but that's not my style. I, I do enjoy selling on Amazon. I love it. I just love the community. Um, I definitely wish I could create something to sell, you know, like just like, but something that's super beneficial one, just cause I want to like try new things, you know, do different things to challenge me to try to create stuff. And that's something that I, you know, obviously I'd have to invest my time and love and passion into that. I could, you know, sell for a little bit, not like crazy amount. That would be cool to do that one day, you know, something super beneficial, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I wish I was like more like, I don't know. Maybe one day, like, I don't know, maybe like something in a self-development type course or something. I don't know, like in that ball, like something beneficial that could help people heal and grow or, you know, just like help people level up, you know, whether it be in business or not. Like I would, that would be cool though, definitely to create something super helpful to people to like make the world a better place or whatever, or something like that, you know, on, on that. And if I could ever think of, have an idea to do something like that, then I probably would be open to creating something and selling something. But like, as long as I knew that that would be amazing to the world or to people that would, you know, buy it or whatever, then I would maybe do something like that one day. Um, but no plans to do anything like that. But, you know, if I, the idea ever sparks, I definitely could do, would do something like that. Cause I would want it just to be so badass and just so amazing. And, you know, people would ever spend their hard earned money on that. Like I would want them to be like, wow, like this was insanely amazing. Like I wouldn't create anything unless it was the absolute best, you know, like definitely. Boom. There is a lot of money in courses, high margins. <laughs> That's true, man. That's definitely true, man. There definitely is. But maybe one day. If I could ever think of something cool, different, you know, because like there's, there's a lot, like one, yeah, there's a lot of bad courses out there, but there's also a lot of good courses. There's a lot of good people out there putting out courses too, you know, like, um, you guys know Flip, Flip for Miles, man. Like those guys are like, you know, I know they sell a course, but they, they do, man, they, they're really good dudes. Like they put out tons of free content. Like I'll jump into Miles lives and, you know, like I've never heard anything bad about those guys. I hear nothing but good stuff about those guys. You know, they, they're like putting in that love and effort and just solid, just work ethic into the community. And like, so like they deserve that success that they got. Like them, them guys are freaking crushing it. You know, they're putting out podcasts and like, you know, helping the community and like, you know, people like that. It's like, though I like seeing like guys like that when like those guys put the effort into it and they give good product and they deliver and, you know, they help people like true. It's like that. Like if I ever did something, it, I don't think I'd ever want to do something Amazon related course wise, but like, something you know self-development maybe but like it would it would have to be super badass like something i i would never want to like sell something to somebody knowing it's shit you know like i like if you could tell me like oh james if you, if you put this quick hour course together and have some vas do it that you would make a million bucks off it and if i knew it was absolute trash like i would never do anything like that because like i could never sleep at night knowing i fuck it i i'm taking money from people hard-earned money you know, so like if I ever put something out, like it would have to be the most badass thing like ever. Like I would want to blow people's socks off with the amount of value that it's worth. And that's probably the reason why I've never put anything out is because I would never want to put anything out unless I know for a fact it would be an, it would be amazing for them. You know. Oof. Yeah, man, my lips are parched. I need some more water. Gotta stay hydrated. Oh, man, let's see. There's a lot of money in courses. Yep, definitely. I read that one already. The scary thing is powers that control the world but don't want anybody to know life can be easy. This is heaven on earth. Let's stop the weirdos making rest. Hey, facts, my brother, facts. So awesome, man. Anybody have any other questions, anything like that? What you guys got going on goal-wise? What you guys working on this week? Um... Yep, I'll just be crushing some Amazon shipments this week. Still doing the fasting, and uh, I gotta start buying new clothes soon. So my, I'm starting to get too skinny for some of my clothes, and they're not—they're too big. So I've been having to—I need to like start buying more clothes, stuff that fits now. Everything's getting to be too big. <laughs> Neo taking hey, <laughs> trying to make sale. That's all. <laughs> taking us out of the matrix. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs>
Awesome. Let's see here. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm going to message you on Facebook. <laughs> Love you all. Awesome, brother. Love you too, man. Love you too, man. Sending you nothing but love, homie. So, yeah, man. Had a good weekend. Went to the hockey. Went to the Golden Knights hockey game yesterday. Cried. They lost. It was still a good time. Had a blast. Cheered, yelled, screamed, lost my voice a little bit. Back to the grind today. Get back into the flow of things tomorrow. Shipping. Get back into shopping. Doing the damn thing. Making things happen. Always focus on growth and moving forward. So. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out. What time is it? 7.13? I should probably hop off. I'm going to get back to the grind. I really want to try to get out a few, uh, few more boxes tonight. Start another shipment and try to get a few more boxes done. Um, I actually forgot tomorrow was Memorial Day. I was going to drop off the shipment at UPS, so, but I might have to wait till Tuesday now. So I'm just going to grind here for the next day or two. Let's work on that. Definitely go hit a run tomorrow. I've been craving to go on the nice runs. Get that weather nice and warm out there. But, um, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. Keep grinding. That's why you are great. Hey, thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. But, man, I thank you guys for watching, hanging out for 65 minutes. Awesome. I always love when the lives go long. and We have good conversation, good dialogue, you know, good back and forth. And much. I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, man, if you guys can go ahead and show some love, hit the like button, man. If you guys ever see a good live that I share, you know, feel free to share it. Even the YouTube shorts and clips and stuff, man, if you guys – you know, see anything that can be worth value to other people to see, please share that stuff, man. I, I definitely want to help the world and, you know, help inspire other people and, you know, help people. You know, there's a lot of people that are hurting and not going through stuff and, you know, definitely want to help people and, you know, spark some love and life into people's, you know, daily lives in any way that I can. Definitely. Awesome, man. Thank you, Nia. I appreciate you, brother, man. But I'm going to get rocking here. I got to get back to the grind, get back to work. Thank you guys for watching. I love all of you. I hope you guys have a phenomenal week. And, um, yes, man, Garrison, take it easy. God bless you too, Garrison, man, brother. Love you, man. You guys have a good week. Stay hydrated. <laughs> awesome, brother. I'm, and I'll hop on live probably tomorrow too. Um, definitely. Um, much love guys. Night, man. Have a good night. Peace out, everybody. Catch you on the next one. Bye.